Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My joint right here. Oh, my daughter don't hate me like a mom did. Hey, I don't. Yeah. Oh, my son wants to be like his daddy one day. Woo, woo. He gets grown. I don't know the words right here. Rico, give me that. Sing a forgive me because I'm doing a lot of things. Woo, and I've done wrong. Ah, that's my joy right there. I hold my daughter like a mama did. Ah, 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 I don't. Yeah, what up, everybody? What up, everybody? God forgives what she wants. Shout out to that boy Rico Love. Shout out to that boy Rico Love. Even Kings die. Banging that joy right now. What up, everybody? What up, everybody? Welcome to the Ash CG Show. Hold on. Let me turn my band down. Rico, thank you for being our special guest. Thank you for being our special guest this week. Oh, wait, I meant to fade it out, but the band stopped. See, they stop on command. What up, everybody? What up, everybody? What up? Uh, Y'all doing roll call. Quick roll call. It's underscore Tammy Jordan. What up? I am Buddha Girl underscore Lady J. What up? Uh, I can't name all of y'all, but I love it. What up? I'm glad y'all here. A hey, Cherry, Fab, cool couples in the house. We out here. What up? What up? Listen, listen, listen. Thank y'all. Listen, now, I, I've been told that I have to uh, time crunch. I have to time crunch today because our episode last week went a little wrong, a little long, and our sponsors was um, pulling out. You know what I mean? Our sponsors was pulling out. Um, Riley in the house. I hope y'all safe out there with that snow. Um, but what up, 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 in the house, we in here. Um, listen, before this episode, right, first of all, thank y'all for sending all your questions. Before this episode, y'all see my t-shirt, right? My t-shirt say gumbo. And that's a shout to my brother, my homie, at PJ Morton, with three Grammy nominations right now. Anyway, this is like the fifth or sixth or whatever for him personally. But again, we hear, shout to that boy. Let me see some hearts. Let me see some hearts for that boy at IMPJ Martin. This, let me tell you something. I'm so excited for this Grammy season because this Grammy season, all of the homies will be there. It is a homie takeover. And your man managed to get slide two in there inadvertently. You know, that's how we do. Um, so let me just do a quick roll call. It's so many, I promise you, I can't think. Shout to that boy at I am PJ Morton. Y'all make sure y'all go say congratulations to him. Shout to at I am Major. Oh my God, Major. Major! Major with the Grammy. Nah! Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, shout to Anisha and Taya A+. Uh, shout to... Uh, it's so many homies. Listen, I might, you know, I, I'm, I'm nominated again. Thank you, Lord Jesus, uh, for my man Brian Courtney Wilson. Uh, it was uh, th shout to that boy Aaron Lindsay. Shout to that boy Brian Courtney Wilson. We did it in the freaking living room of Aaron's house. Did the song on it. It was just, it was just incredible. And, and now here we are, Grammy nominated, nominated, and shout to my church at Elevation Church. Oh my God, hallelujah here below where Pastor Furtick allowed me to do vocals on the album and everything came out crazy. As y'all can see, you know, as I'm getting excited, as y'all can see, my co-host chair is empty, you know, and I just can't. April! I just can't understand why my co-host is so insubordinate. April! She know we going live at 7.30, and it's 7.35 right now, and I got to be shorter. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Let me tell you something. Again, again. Oh, I don't want no theme music when you, when you invite me to sit there. Oh, let me get you some theme music, boo. 
you stay right there. She here. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. God, no. Let me get us some theme music. Oh, so you got to. Um, hold on, baby. Let me get you some oh, theme music. got to get your production together. I know. This I know. No my sense. band. My band is talking about what they want to play for you. <laughs> um, hey, she going to hate this. Here we go. Everybody welcome. Majestic. My majestic, beautiful co-host as she finally enters the room. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's see if you got clothes on today. Oh, but you got your shoulders out. I don't want nobody seeing my stuff. Ain't nobody matching you. Come on. It's not no good theme music to come out to. First of all, this is good music. It's majestic. Hi, guys. You're going to put them shoulders up. I don't allow that. Stop, stop, stop. Stop it now. Before I embarrass you on this. What is I, that? First of all, this is a classic. No. Oh. Well, you should have let me come back and wait. You just don't know classic music. Okay, you can rap and cut. Thank you. All right. Now, why you know do you what? get Rico Love and I get who? Majestic? Well, who did you want? I don't know. It's First crazy. of all, your counsel, your counsel <laughs> at Miko and Zoe didn't send me a rider for today. Not that I was going to. Well, I figured I'd put on a shirt today. And you got your shoulders out. Excuse you? What am I, 96 years old? No, you are taking and who told you to years wear the old. I was wearing? You are taking years old. <laughs> and I don't allow my shoulders to be I'm, seen. And that's Wait, lovely. what if I go like this? If I go like this, can y'all see? Can y'all still see? I don't know if that is it sideways? Y'all tell me if the camera is sideways. Is the camera sideways? Wait, Your what happened? People not talking to you. Let's see y'all. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait. There she go. Okay, wait. Well, nobody told me whether it's sideways. Nobody saying nothing. Why y'all not telling me whether it's sideways? We I, see the hearts. The hearts is going crazy. That's all I need. Is, is it sideways right now? Give us a thumbs up if we if you can see us regular. Can you see us regular like this? So we both in the frame? I don't know what's wrong with y'all tonight. But the, 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 <laughs> that song put them to sleep. That song did not put them to sleep. <laughs> like I keep seeing the hearts. The hearts is going bananas. Maybe it's Are your we, Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi connection. might be going low. Oh! Duh! <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, y'all. See, uh, look, uh, everyone's uh, replying. That, right, wow. I'm sorry, y'all. Sideways. So sideways is sideways working? No. Somebody say sideways is not working. It's sideways. It's side <laughs> Somebody saying thumbs Old up. People with phones. Wait, hold on. Somebody say wait. So, okay, so we'll just keep just it like keep this. Keep it regular. I'm sorry, y'all. I made a mistake and hit the comments, and when you hit them, they freeze on one thing. Anyway, anyway. First of all, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Come down here I all late with your ponytail. Late. I was five minutes late. Now, if this see, this is problem. You can't put Lord forgive me, God, my tongue. You can't put um, certain people on because <laughs> if this was <laughs> if this was CBS, if this was ABC, <sighs> she would not be late. Okay. Well, you missing some zeros behind your check if this was CBS. <laughs> uh uh, it only got two zeros. Listen, you got two zeros. <laughs> Boy, and, one, and one in the middle. All right, so listen. Thank y'all for tuning in tonight. Um, somebody, y'all sent some. Y'all sent a gang of questions for Shizzy. Sideways was working. A sideways shows you both. That's what I don't know. Some people saying no. Some people saying yes. I, I don't know. Turn it back sideways. All right, so if I turn it back side, okay. Look, are we is, the right way? Are though? we the right way or are we sideways? Because the phone is sideways right now. Are we the right? You don't do that. You don't do that. <laughs> They shutting I'm people down left and right. Sorry, you, sorry, about to get, you about to get you about to get some. <laughs> I'm talking about for us. I wasn't talking about for them. All right, so this it's sideways working. Somebody saying no. They saying no. Why y'all no, saying no? No, it's not working. Wrong way. Here we go. We back. We're okay. a little slow. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. First of all, welcome. Y'all know in our description, this is the Ask Shizzy show, and it is the most bootleg. Talk show on the gram right now. Thank y'all for joining us. Listen, we went over time last week, so we were just gonna hop right into the questions. But I had to shout out all my, all my Grammy now people, all my bros, all, yes. all, all my sisters, and all of them peoples. Like it's gonna be a great time at the Grammys this year. You um, said Makiba. Oh, Makiba! Yes. Shout first of all, Makiba. What is her? 
Instagram at Makiba Woods or at Mac. Uh, I forget what Instagram. Makiba Riddick Woods. First of all, she had the longest lasting number one record on a gospel shot with um, Won't He Do It? Uh, Corinne Hawthorne. Corinne, yeah. Let me tell you something. That thing been number one for like 39 years on the Billboard chart. So Saturday, it's just so many of the homies. Now, we don't usually go. Are we going to go this year? Even when we nominated, we didn't really go. But are we going to go? I don't know. We'll figure that out. Okay. Anyway, so welcome to the Ask Shizzy Show. This is the show where you guys send in your questions and with my trusty sidekick host, my sidekick, my side chick. Because everybody's saying sideways was better. But then if you put it up there, it's going to be sideways. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We're going to have to do it like, I know sideways is better, y'all. And but Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> this, this is a family show. Um, we're going we're gonna to put it together. So last, last week we went over time. So we're going to hop right into the questions. Y'all ready to hop into the questions? Um, and, and we got a special musical guest. We do. For sure. For sure. Listen, we're going, we, I'm only going to take uh, three questions. And all of the questions this week has chosen to remain anonymous. So, I think we should always keep it anonymous. Okay, we're going to keep it anonymous. You so from now me. on, the Ask Shizzy show is now anonymous. And my phone is freezing up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, so we're going to jump right into the first question. Y'all ready? All right. Um, what this ain't. Will you ever release your song "Wake Up"? I don't know the title, but it's something like "Wake Up." Wake <laughs> I gotta up. see this. <laughs> Wait, I gotta cover up his name. I gotta cover up his name. Look how he put "Wake Up." Oh, I'm sorry. Look how he put "Wake Up." Can y'all see that? It's a bunch of U P P P. I guess he's singing it. <laughs> He's singing it. Why, why don't you the, sing a little bit of it? I have no clue what he's talking about. For the people that don't, you don't know that song? I have no idea oh. what he's talking about. I, 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 I wish I knew what you was talking about. Unfortunately, I don't. Um, uh, you sang it great on the email. <laughs> um, I can't, I don't understand. So um, I, email me back and I'll try and figure out what song you're talking about. I'm making you happy. Why this body heat up, Louis? <laughs> this is why we can't Stay get focused, nothing done. Okay. Stay focused. This is why we can't. This is why we can't get nothing done because somebody always all up on I'm me. All up on. So I, I got a question for women. Look, I'm a, a, a own question for Ag Shizzy Show. How come wives and husbands, if y'all out there, or wives if y'all out there listening, when we in public, it's a bunch of rubbing, it's a bunch of kissing, <laughs> it's a bunch of hugging, and ooh, and then all this type of stuff, and I, then we I get. And then we get here and get home, and you fast asleep like Bambi. Because you talk too much, and sometimes your long winded no, goes into your lies. time slot for hanky panky. <laughs> I talk too much. Yes, when we out, you don't never know how to say good night, everybody. You just keep going and going and going. So then I'm over there like you know I'm cooling down over here. We got to go, brother. And you steady kissing babies, shaking hands. Uh oh, somebody said territorial. <laughs> That sound like the right answer That's to me. That's not the right answer. Because if you if, if you get heat up, why are you gonna cool down? You, well, let me explain something to you. Baby, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me say one thing to you. What? If I was making a pot of tea right now, right? I would put the uh, hot water on 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 the hot water uh, uh, teapot, right? And I turn that fire up, and when that fire is ready and that water is warm, it get the whistling. It get the whistling and going, let me know the steam, everything is ready. Now that thing will not stop whistling unless I take it off the fire. Well, Your problem is you keep coming off the fire. Luckily, I'm not a teapot, so I can't. Oh, you better be a little teapot. <laughs> Short and stout. I can't hold so my can, breath that long to so keep whistling. So I can grab that hand. So, newsflash, when and you grab, hear my whistle next time, you should wrap it up and say, all right, y'all, we got to go. Because you be taking too long sometimes and those... People who know I'm laking in my line, long-winded in my April it's voice. Roxy Burry, as she <laughs> whatever it says. It says, that's not an issue for me, thank goodness. You see? <laughs> it ain't you an see? issue for you either. You better keep your... You better clean it up. Don't be acting like Look, you. Well, he wants you to husband. stay right at D Diva Styles says he wants you to stay right. Listen. That's right. 
I stay ready. That ain't stay no ready. Problem. But sometimes I get a little sleepy in my readiness. <laughs> Somebody said, um, but when you are out chit chat, you out putting out the fire. You don't put them out. All right, we getting yes. back. We getting back. We like, getting back right now. <laughs> I don't even need no co-host, though, cuz. You want me to leave? I don't even. You, 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 you can leave. You want me to leave? You can leave. Y'all y'all want y'all want April to stay. Y'all want her to if leave. If I leave, I'm taking everybody with me. So, so see, that's, <laughs> this is terrible. This, this is terrible. You're going to like, but listen, we're we going to keep going. We're going we gonna, to we gonna dive right into the question, because this ain't about us. It's not. This so ain't about focused. us. This is about you all. And let me tell you something. I really should get um, serious, because we got some serious questions. We got some... Yeah. Freaky questions. That look a little serious. And this one right here look a little serious. So I ain't gonna reveal. Um, look, Tony Essie's talking about some stay April. You would say that, Tony. <laughs> Woman power. Don't make no sense. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna dive into our first questions. Now, everybody know I'm Pentecostal Holiness. I'm Pentecostal Holiness. And Pentecostal Holiness Church, when the pastor would start preaching, they would have the deacon or the deaconess read for them. And right. Every sentence, they would be like, read. So my co-host is going to earn her keep, and you will be the official reader of Why the- Why I say it with Andy? Because you're you on my nerves. Okay. You are the official reader of the emails. All right. And first of all, we got stands and everything, for the, but I think holding the phone just makes it so much more organic. You know what I mean? All right, here we go. Read on. Read. <laughs> I've been married for five years, and my wife recently ran into someone she dated years ago. And they exchange numbers. Now, I trust my wife, but the homie's been in my ear talking about how disrespectful that move was. My question is, do you think there's any harm with talking to people you dated in the past when you're married? Or was she in total violation? My wife and I never felt to discuss this topic prior never to it felt. happening. Okay. Has never felt the need to discuss this topic okay. prior to it happening. So for her, she doesn't see it being a problem. So the question is, well, he's basically saying that his wife yes. was in communication, ran into, ran into an old friend that she used to date. Yes. And they kept in communication? No, it looks like they got back into communication because she, he said that they exchanged numbers. So apparently they were out of touch. Right. They ran into each other, exchanged numbers. Now he's saying he trusts his wife, but I guess he shared the story with his homies and they're saying, man, that was a disrespectful move. <sighs> so it's like a two-part question. His question is, do you think there's any harm with talking to people you dated in the past when you're married? Or was she in total violation? Well, I, listen, I won't say, and I'm not going to shoot, I won't say total violation, but it was the wrong thing to do in my opinion. Yeah. Now, the reason why I won't say total violation, because he also said they never, they discussed, never discussed it. it. Here's what here's where I am in, in, in at this stage in my life. Um, I don't leave anything to chance. Even us being married now for 18 years, if there's something that I wish, if there's something that I like, if there's something that I dislike in a non-disrespectful way, non-sarcasm way, none of that, I go ahead and let it be said. Because what you can't do, and I say this to April all the time, you can't expect other people's rationale to be your own. Now, when your husband and wife into it, there's still a learning period. You have to learn. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I won't say she's in total violation, but um, I don't think it's a good idea. Um, they could have been well, the, the dating. He said they were dating, right? Yeah, they, if they dated if, years ago. So let me let me if 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 I'm a if I'm a um, if I'm a former drug addict, and I see my old pusher in the street. I'm not going to go to him and be like, yo, man, what's up? Get, hit me up, man. Let's go hang out. Because I'm not trying to do that and I'm not trying to live that life no more. Um, the Bible says, avoid the very appearance of evil. Mm -hmm. You have got to shake loose and separate yourself from the very appearance. So now, this is subject to uh, opinion, but the Bible, again, says, stay away from the very appearance of evil. There's nothing good. There's no great conversation. There's no, in my opinion, anything that can come from talking to an old uh, flame. 
Because what happens is, I know for the men, and I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you. If a dude go up to a married chick, know she married, and he still get a number because he knew her back in the day, he's going to feel like he's still significant in her life. That just is what it is. He going to feel like I can still holler if I want to, even though he may, may not. Even though he may not say anything that might be out of line or crazy, in the back of his mind, he's still feeling like, oh, man. She gave me her number two, and every time I text her, she texts right back. Every time I holler at her, she holler right back. It just, it just leaves room for foolishness. And in marriage, I feel like you should protect. You should protect your spouse's feelings. You should protect your spouse's uh, 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 perception at all times. Nobody wants to be the person running around with, oh my God, ain't he married or ain't she married? I, I don't think that's the way to go. Um, but again, I won't say total violation because I don't want to sow any discord. If you guys have never discussed that. Yeah, I think that gives it, you know, some some grace should come with it. Some grace should um, absolutely come with it. I think that when you find out it is a problem, then you should discontinue it. Like, okay, you didn't get a chance to discuss it cool but now you're discussing it and right. if you find that it's bothering your spouse then you should just step away from it because your marriage is never worth jeopardizing for somebody that's in the past for a Period. reason if he was the one or she was the one you would be with them so leave that in the past that's my leave two that all the way in the past and then, then again old things are passed away and behold all things are new when you walk into this marriage situation you should go into it with new breath, new thoughts, new vision. Your breath is not that new. It's, it's 8 p.m. Your breath has been your breath has been subject to what? the course of these hours. My breath. So, <laughs> so my breath don't your breath, but like when you're married, there is enough to figure out without bringing old problems into it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say it plain and simple like this. Nah. No way. I don't care. Oh, it's in social media does that. Face, especially Facebook. Facebook, IG, all of that type of stuff. Like old high school people. I got, <laughs> listen, I'm not on Facebook like that. But it's a gang of high school people that, you know, follow me on Facebook and all that type of stuff. I'm not sure I'm giving nobody my number and saying, hey, let's hang out. Let's hook up. Let's, mm, that ain't that ain't that ain't the way to go. That ain't the way to do it. Yeah. So avoid the appearance of evil. Nothing good can come from an old flame. The only thing that old flame can do is be reignited, <laughs> and that flame could potentially burn down your new house. And you don't want that. Not 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 for something old. Not for something old. That was the first question. Um, I think that was a good question. Yeah, that let's was go. Good. Let's go to the uh, next question. And I'm gonna go to my assistant. And because we're gonna keep it, we we gonna we gonna go fast tonight. Okay. Um, my assistant, read read the next question. Oh my gosh, I'm going through a difficult time in my marriage right now. My husband left out of the blue, did not provide an explanation until three days later. He said he feels like we are growing apart and that he needs to get back to the things he gave up in order to support my career, so he can feel like his best self for him. I asked what that meant for us and he told me he doesn't know the answer to that question. Please help. I am angry but very hurt and I don't know what I should do. Now he's saying that he had to get back to the things of his career. That's he what he's said saying? He, needs, he feels like he said he feels like we are growing apart and he needs to get back to the things he gave up in order to support her career. So he can feel like his best self for him. So he's being selfish in this moment right now. <sighs> That's a tough one. That is a tough one because, um, again, and these are layered questions. I love doing this Ask Shizzy show, but, you know, of course, there's way more information that, you know, we would like to have and get into it. But here's what I'm saying um, in this particular situation. I would try and get to the root of the separation. Um, get to the root of why he feels like you guys are growing apart. And listen, sometimes it could be a dude just wanting to wild out 
or sometimes it could be a newlywed couple just getting married and those <clears throat> real situations come their way and they feel like, oh, this ain't for me. And they use that as an excuse. Some guys, some guys use that as an excuse, like, oh, I just got to get back to myself. Listen, when, when you're getting married, that's why it's so important. It is so important to have premarital counseling because what you're dealing with, the hardest thing, in my opinion, to deal with with a new couple is the meshing. The April is April. Sean is Sean. I know what Sean do. I know what Sean like. Sean got flaws that he might not even see. She's going to pick up on everything. So what we got to do is we got to learn how to mesh and come together. In that period, it can breathe for men, for men. And I'm, and I'm sure for ladies too. Yeah. In that period, it can breathe and breed all types of uh, of false thoughts in your head like, oh man, you, you getting away from who you used to be or this ain't what it is. There has to be a commitment and a sacrifice to the marriage. Now, I will say this. In pursuit of finding out the separation aspects, I would just go, listen, without yelling, without trying to fight, with trying with, with, with if he's already gone, I would get strategic in it. And I would say, okay, well, you know, no problem. Let's let's figure this out. Um, let's get together for lunch. You don't have to be there. And when we get friends, you go. So let's get together for lunch. And in that lunch, you say, "Hey, so in let's 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 break this thing down, um, piece by piece, layer by layer." In separating and feeling like we're separating, explain to me, in your opinion, what I have done to make you feel distant from me. You know what I mean? Well, I think it takes a mature person to be able oh, to yeah. have that discussion. But see, that's what I'm saying. Because when you do that, in that discussion, if there is no uh, if there's no response or if there is nothing he can give you that's substantial, well, it sounds like then you know where they're at. <sighs> because he, he took three days to try and give an explanation. And when he did, it wasn't much of one, except for he had to get back to the things that... He gave up. And let me tell you, resentment in a relationship, the relationship will never work. You can't, you know, feel like you've given so much of yourself or a piece of yourself that, you know, you you envy the other person for the sacrifice that you made for that person. So that might be a crossroad that he's at, you know? Right. Um, I think that in that moment, you know, it's important to give that person that space to try and figure out what it is because you can't make people happy. You can't. He he has to be happy and he doesn't sound very happy right now. Right. So we could talk about it and, and we could try to iron it out and figure out a game plan. But just by her words here, I don't think he's at that place of maturity yet to have that type of conversation. Right, right. Well, my, that's what I'm saying. My thing of it is, is just to try and find out mentally what you're dealing with. Listen, a man at any at any level or any stage of maturity can at least try and articulate himself. Whether it makes sense or not, that's something that remains to be seen. But if he's not offering up any specifics, I would say that he's going through something. Right. He's going through something and 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 I know this this is crazy and I know it might sound crazy, but it's time for you to really buckle down the wife, it's time for you to really buckle down in prayer so mm -hmm. the, the Lord can reveal to you what the next moves are. Because I hate to say it, sometimes, I heard, and I heard, I refer to Bishop Young all the time. Sometimes Bishop Young said, you know, uh, in our vows, it says, uh, what well, God is joined together, let no man put asunder. But then Bishop Young asked the question, okay, what if God ain't put you together? Right. <sighs> That's a tough one. You know what I mean? So... I would say, uh, and again, a lot of my answers and a lot of my outlook is going to result back to the spiritual aspect. I'm saying you as a wife, I would say really get before God and just 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 for direction. And and a lot of people say, you know, you know, prayer and prayer, prayer and physical things. A lot of people don't make the connection to that, but I promise you this: that if this if if your heart is in it and you go to the Lord and say, God, just reveal to me what this is. He, may, you never know where those prayers are going to take you or where they're going to lead you. There could be something in the future. There could be a, a, a mental capacity that you need to be escaping from, and this is a way out right now. So I would say for you to just just really kind of clothe yourself in prayer 
And so you, so you just so you can get the answer to it, because here's the thing. If he's not offering you no real explanations and you've tried to have a, a, an, an adult conversation without um, placing blame right. and not saying, oh, well, you do this or you do. Let's have an adult conversation and say, what's the problem? What, what have I done? In your opinion, I'm not saying that I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm going to agree with you or not. But just explain to me how you see me. Explain to me how you see my actions. And if you can't have an adult conversation like that, I really believe that it, 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 it may be time to seek God for new direction. That's my opinion. You know, well, that's my opinion. always seek God for direction. Not yeah. time to, you should always. And be prayed up, prayed up for things that, you know, you are faced with. Yeah. Don't play catch up. With your prayer life, make sure you stored up for when you go through seasons mm, like that, that are challenging, so that you can pull from your arsenal to get through yeah. the storm. God will reveal. Okay, here's a light. God will, will he will uh, reveal. Go ahead. We going on to the next question. I hope that was helpful to y'all. Okay. How did you know he or she was the one? <laughs> that's a good question. Is it? That's that's yes. uh, that's. Because there's some people that think every time they get with someone, they the one. Oh, you said that last week, girl, when you was dating that other guy. Well, oh, we heard that last year when you and so and so had that terrible breakup. Like you know, some people don't know how to differentiate the one and the butterflies and the feelings of the newness and, and the enjoyment of the individual. I mean, me personally, that's that's what I think. I think so too. I mean. It, it, how did you know I was the one? It's individual. It's individual. And, 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 and what I might equate to knowing and feeling may not be enough for someone else. So I think this question is such a broad question that the answer only can come from the person asking it. Because let me tell you something. There was no uh, 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 lightning cracking in the sky, on them, but I knew it. I felt it. That's a lie. You I saw all types of fire. Oh. Works. Listen, the oh. Lord told me you was the one, and I appreciate that. <laughs> you should be thanking and, and him after, every day. After I I, I I was seeking God, <laughs> He revealed to me that you was the one. Now listen, I know that in the beginning of a relationship, and let me tell you something. Your man Shizzy had it popping. Don't ever get it twisted. Don't you ever get it. Let me tell you something. Phone popping. You excited? About my that? my my stable was was uh, plentiful. Get your horses. No. <laughs> My stable was plentiful. You know what I mean? I had I had celebrities. I had everything. So usually but, when you excuse me, talk ma'am. Excuse it, me, ma'am. There might not excuse be ma'am. any validity. I had everything, but here's what I knew. What you know? What I knew was. You better say something great, all that loud talking about all that. What I knew was I didn't bag. want anybody else out of my whole stable, <laughs> out of my whole collection. I knew I didn't want anybody else. She was all I could think about. She was all I, I wanted to be around. Mm -hmm. She was all I wanted to be with. I, I knew it. You was tired of playing in the barns. <laughs> April's boyfriend before I, me what, that we used to wear <laughs> short sleeve sneakers. <laughs> First of all, how you April's, remember more than me? April's boyfriend before me used to wear short sleeve sneakers. You so you talking about, about my horse in my barn and all that? April's boyfriend that and she ain't having it. And she swear sure she did. upgraded me. But let me tell you something, ladies. Don't date nobody with slide on sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> They're either going to rob from you oh, or stuff is going to come up and miss it. April, no, 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 no. See, you at that now. She want to talk about bombs. Let me explain something to you. April's boyfriend had short sleeves. Why sneakers. do you keep saying my boyfriend? And, and, okay, and, that was not my boyfriend. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not before you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but like I, I think that is a a broad question. The way you know, the way I knew. That's the only way I can answer it. Though. The only way I knew that she was the one is because I didn't want anything else. I didn't want to be around no one else. I didn't want to talk on the phone to nobody else. I, one of my homies, <coughs> shout out to Osanachi. I can say his name because he happily married. Shout out to the homie Osanachi. His thing was he can't stay on the phone with girls. I'm like, dude, you, you just ain't met the right one. He's like, nah, I don't care who it is. I ain't about to be on the phone. Whatever. When he met his wife, 
He called me, he said, Shiz, nigga, we be on the phone 20 hours. I, I, I said, oh, I told you. I told you, dog. They, they, you just got to find the right one. So when you find the one, you know you found the one because your all of your attention, all of your, uh, uh, all of your attention goes into it. And guess what? All of your uh, nays become uh, uh, more talkable. You know what I mean? You, you, you finding yourself wanting to work something out in that person or with that person. That's what it is. That's, that's how it was for me. That's how it was for you too. Why don't you tell the people the truth? I she came in. She truth. came in. We got to hurry up, baby. You're taking too long. Uh, what? We got to hurry. You're the one, the only one talking. What Let you? me tell you something. The first <laughs> night, the first date she had, she's going to say, I want, I want to stay with you, but you're going to well, think no, the wrong thing story. for me. Don't do that. I say, you want to stay with daddy? You want to stay? Listen, really? I, and the first time he laid eyes thing. on me, you know what he said? Let's go out. You want to go to the Grammys with me? I was like, slow down, boo. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I know gonna... you want to have me on your arm and everything, uh, but what? don't do that fast. First of all, I got to see if you're going to be around before first I of all, you be seen with me at first the Grammys. First of all, I was going to the Grammys. Uh -uh. No, 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 it's not my fault. That's not my fault that you don't hang with ballers. <laughs> ballers only go to certain places. I just happen to be going to the Grammy. And that's what you were saying. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, that's one right there over your head. That's one right there over your head. Anyway, I'm not going to get into you that. You know what? All right, that was one of the questions. All right, we're going to the next question. Next question. Um, Let's She's putting in the cold, y'all. Listen, I'm, and we're going through. I forgot. Wait, wait, wait. We should have our musical guest. Jack. Oh! <laughs> well, you ain't gonna have my baby. Jack, come here, there. Jack. Come he here. He took his shower. He got on his pajamas. Jack, you come here. Put some chapstick on. Everybody, this is like the Arsenio Hall show. Oh my. Jack, you are our musical guest. His hair, his hair ain't cold. <laughs> or nothing. Uh. I wasn't trying to be the musical guest. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What are you doing? No. I don't uh, have on my theme song. Uh, he said his theme song. You were supposed to have some music when he walked Hold in. Hold on. God, you yeah. done made my speaker die. Ow. Oh, my God. What uh, happened? He hit me in the head. Oh, Y'all, we having some technical difficulties. <laughs> we having some technical difficulties. We having some technical difficulties. Please. Now... We're going to have our, um, come on, Jack, come get between us. How are you going to get hey, between? Go get between us and stand right there. Don't hit get the, on the stage. Don't get on the stage. <laughs> now, everybody, coming live to you from, this is like our City Hall show. And he only going to do his promo. Coming live to you way from upstairs in his room. <laughs> 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 we have, we have our special musical guest. Everybody say what's up to that boy, Jack Young Turner. <laughs> You're supposed to perform. <laughs> perform, dog. Turn around, <laughs> you you gotta perform. 2005, back when the song started. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Jack. This year is my year for the. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that, you know, thank you, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. What is I mean, on here? Follow my SoundCloud. <laughs> well, our musical guest was How a little bootleg. What are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? It's this is no order over here. No order. This is the Arsenio Fall show. <laughs> this is Arsenio. That's why I'm coming in my pajamas every week for that boy. That was our special musical guest. Let's give him a hand at Jet Young Turnout. Um, uh, Birth of a Sauce God yes. on SoundCloud streaming platforms right now. Oh All right, now we, we're. You are so wrong. <laughs> we are approaching the ending of our show. So we wait. I wanted to ask one of the um the the sex Somebody questions. Somebody had a good question up there. Up uh, uh, where? Um, but we gotta answer these questions. Uh, okay. All right. Well. All right. Listen. Don't forget to send all your questions to axshizzy at gmail dot com. I had to burp. <laughs> the most bootleg show on the ground right now. Oh Jesus! All right. Let's go to the next. Right. And then there's one more question though. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. My husband and I have been together four years this past November, but we've dealt with infidelity twice now. Both times it happened, I forgave him, but I'm wondering if I made a mistake in doing so. Clearly, this is not the appropriate activity for anyone married, but I question if he looks at my forgiveness as stupidity on my part. Sign, don't want to have regrets. 
<sighs> infidelity, in my opinion, now again, this is all my opinion, infidelity, in my opinion, it, it, it draws a very vague picture of the regard for your spouse. Um, I often say this, one of my things I, 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 I dealt with or I deal with, and let me tell you something, it's a daily thing. People, people say, you know, cheating is, is something, let me, guys, we're going to tell the truth. We want honey. It's a daily work to not fall into traps and all of that type of stuff. But one of the things that keeps me is I think about myself and I say anything that I would do to a jump off or a side piece, anything that I would do to a chick kissing, whatever. I imagine a dude doing that to my wife and it makes me absolutely want to puke. It takes me completely out. Infidelity, when it's when it rears its head in a, in a relationship, it is important to not just forgive. I urge you to work towards forgiving, in my opinion. Work towards forgiving. If you can forgive, forgive absolutely because you have no idea what that person was going through. But there has to be treatment. There has to be counsel in dealing with it so that you know the things that cause the infidelity from the beginning, the things that made it rear its ugly head, you are addressing. Now, if someone is being, you know, is just having infidelity issues and, you know, you forgive, they might yell, you guys might get into an argument and he knows at the very most you're going to be mad for him, mad at him for two days and, you know, he back on it. There's, there's, there's no real accountability in it. There has to be something that comes from him to, to assure you that it was a mistake. Uh, listen, we all can fall short at any given time. Infidelity can be a huge, huge mistake, but you cannot have repeat offenders. Yeah, it becomes a habit. If it becomes, right. Repeat it. You can't, you can't allow it to become a habit or if, it, if it's uh, habitual with somebody, you got to recognize that and say, hey, listen, I love you, but I love me enough to not go through this. I need you to get something fixed or rectified in yourself because your family or your spouse should not have to be subject to every time you feel like stepping out, every time the wind blows or every time your mood change, you find yourself outside the house and in with somebody else. I would say as a wife, he owes it to you to gain counseling, whether it's spiritual, whether it's uh, 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 natural. He owes it to you to have that counseling. And this is, this is a wide, wide brush conversation that you guys have to have all the time in, in the forefront of your mind. Uh, uh, if you feel like he is, uh, it was a mistake once. Uh, you have to say, okay, hey, how are you feeling? You have to be the comments of what's going on. Uh, and then you have to get into what are you looking at? If he's on social media, what pages are you following? What posts are you liking? Like, uh, don't don't feed your addiction uh, looking at porn and, and, and following big booties on the gram and on, on Facebook. And all. Don't do that. He, in my opinion, would have to subject his world to however you see it operating. And now I'm saying that you're, you're a warden or anything like that, but it just comes from a space to say, hey, I need to be more transparent in my, with my wife so she can see how I'm feeling. She can see what I'm going through and she can, right, to rebuild the trust and she can see and know that this is something that I will not allow to happen again and I don't want to happen. What'd you say? Um, I think, and I totally agree with that, but I also think that um, what she has to also make a decision is, if you're going to forgive them, forgive them. Mm. Because a lot of times you say you're going to forgive them and your actions don't line up with a person that's walking a walk of forgiveness. Um, I think that's really important because it allows you to kind of go back and forth in a position where you're not planted firmly on your forgiveness. And again, this is a decision only the person that has been in this situation can make. We really can't tell you which way to go left or right because I've seen people go through being cheated on and make it out successful on the Absolutely. other side Absolutely. with their spouse. So you can get through it, but I've also seen this break marriages. So I think it just it it, it really depends on the individual um, and what they're willing to take, you know. It really doesn't matter what anybody else thinks in this position because you're the one that has to walk it. 
-hmm. You know, um, I know I can sit here and say, if he cheats on me, that's an absolutely goodbye, see you later, and that's what it is. You gonna leave daddy? Until you in that position, you don't know what you're gonna do. You really don't. So, you know, the 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 perspective for a strong woman to know your worth is girl, don't let no man cheat on you. Don't let no man disrespect you. Be strong. Make sure you know your worth and you stand in that. But, you know, the 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 side that we don't talk about is the vulnerable side, the side that loves the heart. You can't ignore that. And so it's it's like it, it puts you in a place of being dis, the split on your decision because you're worried about what people will think and, and your heart wants you to stay 100%. But then you have a, another side of you where your heart is like, girl, get out of here. But then when you think about it, you're like, why am I going to throw my marriage away? Because of this, we can work through it. So I just think it depends on the individual because there's really no, no right or wrong answer right. to that. It depends on what you're built for, what you're willing to do and you know what you believe can be the end result for you and your union right it's no right or wrong answer but um the ingredient that has to be a part of the entire process is work and that is period if he's not willing to show the work or put in the work um then you have something to think that to think about and it's vice versa um marriage ain't easy Mm -hmm. it ain't easy it's hard and and nowadays, modern times, uh, Instagram and everything else, whew, these sides, we was having a conversation earlier with, with, with Chen and Mick about, you know, just a certain area that they uh, that they're from and used to be a part of. A certain area just kind of breeds infidelity. And it was, you know, it was almost like a plague or a curse over that part of town. And let me tell you something, you have to fight and work against that because it's out there. Yeah. It is, it is out there 100%. So my advice, you know, for those who are married and, and, and you know, haven't dealt with any infidelity, infidelity uh, issues, thank God, um, you know, find what you need in each other. Yeah. Like if you got to go buy your wife some uh, wigs or some uh, trashy lingerie. You go get you some lingerie. wigs and trashy lingerie. People are saying two times though in four years. Yeah, two times. It, it, yeah. It, it, the one time is too many. Yeah, one <laughs> you time know, is too many. but you don't know. You don't Listen, know. We all are flawed at all the end of, us. of the day. We all, all got issues. We all got demons we need to work on. We all got them. You know, I don't care who you are. Right. Some it's infidelity. Others it's stealing. Others right. it's drinking. Others that's it's, what it is. You know, and you gotta you gotta realize that people. People are brought up and 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 are raised in uh, uh, generational curses. Like some 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 men were raised watching their father cheat, watching their grandfather cheat, or vice versa. And it's it's just something that they That's feel like normal. it's 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 a part of life, <clears throat> and it's what's to be done. And it's not till they're old enough and mature enough to break that cycle. So it can be done. Um, you know, I just wouldn't be so quick. To avoid the work and go ahead and write somebody off. Now, I'm not saying subject yourself to foolishness, right. but listen, it, it, this is this is when your spiritual side really has got to kick in. I'm not saying being nobody's fool, no, be nobody's fool, but there has to be uh, uh, some work put into the whole thing because, again, some females and some men they deal with generational curses. Mm-hmm. They you, you just don't know what somebody is going through, and you could be that person. If the love is real, now all of this is only if the love is real, to help that person through it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? We, we, we just got to be prayerful. Yeah. Um, you know and what I'm if you're going to work through it, he, like you said, he has to or she has to be willing to do whatever it takes oh, yeah. to get through it. But you also have to operate in that place of forgiveness. Yeah. Because I can't say, oh, well, you cheated on me. You got to do X, Y, and Z. And he's doing that, but yet I want to keep reminding him of the offense. Right. It, it's just, we're not going to make any progress because at some point he's going to be like, you know what? I'm out because I'm doing everything you want me to do and it still isn't enough. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, that's something to be prayerful of. Well, listen, everybody, we tried to keep it short. I think we still went a little bit long, um, but, you know, I think we did good. i like to thank everybody. I'm getting my um, band together. Hold on. I'm getting my band together. i like to thank everybody for tuning in to the Ask Shizzy yes. show. Um, we're going to sign off, but uh, you want to take some questions from the audience? <laughs> uh, well, listen, y'all know that 
Y'all know that uh, the, the questions are to be submitted on uh, AskShizzy at yeah. gmail.com. But, you know, if, if we see <clears throat> a couple of questions um, in, in our comments or whatever, we, we might can get to some of the questions. Mm -hmm. Describe the new Brandy album in one word. Uh, fantabulous. Fantabulous. The, the Brandy album is going to be crazy. Um uh, yes, but sin, listen, we would love to answer your questions, but we picked the questions from the email prior to us coming on so we can have some kind of organization and then not be completely Because this is the most bootleg <laughs> show. Most bootleg but, show. <laughs> um, make sure if you still want us to answer your questions you asked tonight that you send them to... Ask Shizzy. Ask Shizzy. At Gmail. At Gmail. Dot com. That's where we at, y'all. So, listen, we love y'all. Thank y'all again for tuning in to the most bootleg show on the gram. Why does my band keep messing up? I don't want to... Oh, here we go. Here we we go. got it together now? Oh, yeah. Shout to that boy, Rico Love! Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm still looking for new co-hosts. Um, and uh, if we do it next week, if we do it next week, we're gonna have a musical guest that just joins us on live. We are, we're gonna accept oh, we gonna let him join on live. Oh, we're gonna listen yeah. if you want to be a musical guest on Ask Sissy Show, email me and then I'll, I'll FaceTime you on. Uh, the live thing, and you can perform. Maybe if you turn the music down. No, 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 no. We going out. We going out. We going out. We love y'all. We we'll see y'all next time. Peace in the Middle East. I don't.